Sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got some more out of the park for you. And this one, in this um, particular video, I'm going to go over how to make a, how to do a, a custom game that doesn't include made up players. Because if you go to the, in general, if you go and you do a custom game, um in out of the park and you go through and you don't make any special adjustments it just gives you made up players um, with made up ratings but i'm going to show you how to um, make a league a custom league that has uh, both different teams different actual teams from different years and how you can even change the names of those teams to be something for a uh, for a custom league that you might have. So the the way you want to start this is you want to go to a new custom game, and we're going to say uh, no on the challenge mode. I'm not even really sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to do it. Uh, then you go to create fictional league. Now that brings you to this screen. If you go through this process and you don't hit the the certain things that I'm going to tell, show you how to do, you would end up with, um, like I said, fictional players in your league. But anyway, uh, the first thing I do want to say, though, is um, it, you'll see up here, this says two sub leagues with two division each, uh, two divisions each, 16 teams. And you can see that division one, uh, division two, division one, division two, um, in the two sub leagues. Now, uh, if you, if you, uh, hit the arrow, you've got the choices that it gives you, but I want to show you that you're not really locked into these choices either. For instance, uh, there's, uh, two sub leagues, one division each, eight total teams, two sub leagues, one division each, 16 teams. Two sub leagues, two division each, uh, 16 teams. Then it goes to 24 teams, and then it goes to 30 teams, and then um, you've got two sub leagues, three divisions, 24 teams, etc. Now I'll hit this two sub leagues, two divisions each, 24 total teams. This gives you 24 teams, but you can go up here, I think, and you can adjust this. Um, to, you can make this five actually and reduce the number of teams if you want. And hence reducing the number of teams in the league to uh, 20. So now you got 20 teams instead of 24, but as you noticed in the, uh, the original screen that I was on before, when I picked this, 20 teams was not an option. So you can make it an option by doing this. And I'll show you later why that was important for me in a league that I've already done, that I've already put together. Uh, but I want to show you that, um, that feature. So now what you do is you say next step. And it loads it. And so now that brings you to this screen. Now, we are right here, the computer has made up names for the teams and, um, and the divisions. Um, and you can see right here, even Sub League 1 is named Sub League 1, and Sub League 2 is named Sub League 2. You can change these. So, you know, Sub League 1, you could say American League. I'm not going to uh, go too far into that, but anyway, um, and then my caps lock went out in the middle of that. But anyway, you can change the names of those. You can make this AL for the abbreviation. 
You can also go up here. This says fictional sub league, but let's call this the, um, I don't know, East Coast League. Um, and then the ECL for the abbreviation. So you can change that stuff. Now, um, what I wanted to show you is you can switch to historical team selection right here. Because right now what you've got is a bunch of teams with that are made up with the names made up by the computer and there would be a draft in which you would uh, draft fictional players. But if you switch to historical team selection, that uh, makes the screen look like this. And now over here you would select the year. You can slide up and down all through the uh, through all of the years. Um, and so let's say 1917. We'll take the 1917 Pittsburgh Pirates. You can do this again. Um, let's say the 1981 um, Houston Astros. And you can make this, I mean, you could put all Yankees teams from different years doing it just the way that I, you know, just did it. Um, you can go through and do that. And then you can go to, um, I think you can now, oh no. Yeah, so now, let, I've got the, the 1917 Pirates and the 1981 Astros, but let's say I don't want them to be called the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Astros. I want them to be called something else. You come up here and you go to switch to name editor. And now you can switch Pittsburgh to, let's say, San Antonio. That's just the first name that came to my mind. And uh, Alamos. And you can switch Houston to Jacksonville. And uh, the team name to Floridians. And you've done that. So now you can go through and you can do that for everything. You can also change the abbreviations. So this might be San Antonio, SAA for San Antonio Alamos. And uh, the Jacksonville um, Floridians could be Jacks for the abbreviation. But anyway, you can go through and do that. Now, the computer has also given you other, and here's another Jacksonville, so you would want to change that to maybe, um, oh, I don't know, Montreal. Hopefully, they didn't generate a Montreal already. But you can leave the names the way the computer made them, or you can put in your own names in your own league. So then after you do that, you go to next step. And, uh, you know, you go to, uh, you can switch to the years you want, or the year that you want the setting, the league's um, rules and such to be based on. I wouldn't recommend 2020 because it would be a 60 game schedule. So, you know, you might want to go to an earlier season. Um, automatically adjust league strategy when advancing to the new year. Now this would go to obviously 2020 next. If you leave this unchecked, I think it would just carry over 2019 settings to the neck to 2020. Um, hold the inaugural fantasy draft. If you wanted to do that, you could. You can decide what um, date the season starts and then go to next step. Um, also, this was checked, enable automatic evolution of the league. That's if you want the league to add teams um, through expansion as time goes on. And uh, so here we are, uh, you've got the, you know, the name, you would enter the name of what you want this league to be called in your save menu, in the main menu.
But anyway, we're going to go, th um, we're going to stop this right now because I don't want to actually do this lead. This will end, yeah. So, so that takes me back to the start menu. But now I want to show you the league that I already built this way. And um, for that, we go to load game and we go to Elmwood career. Now, this uh, season here is sort of based on, and I'll put a uh, link to that on the uh, end card, um, the end screen. But this is loosely based on my Stratomatic um league that i'm in my competitive stratomatic league where i'm the uh providence grays so we'll load the this um season up and now you can see our next game is against the adams family and that is a team in my stratomatic league if we go to um, the EBL and we go to the standings, you can. I've already played some games. I've played like four games for Providence, and we are two and two, as you can see right here. We had four games against um, the uh, Gophers, the Green Lakes Gophers, to start the league. Now, the Providence Grays are based on the 2015 Chicago White Sox. One, because I'm a White Sox fan, and two, because the 2015 Chicago White Sox only won 76 games. And historically, in the um, Elmwood League, that's about what I average. It's somewhere between 72 and 76 uh, wins per year. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, so you got the Adams family. The Adams family is actually based on the 1975 Red Sox. Now, one thing it does do is kind of a little annoying is like it names the team with the with the year in the middle. So we're the Providence 2015 Grays. I mean, I would prefer Providence Grays more, but that's what we are. Now, if you go to the Grays, you go to your team that you're going to take um, and you go to um, Modify colors and uniforms. Now here, I did do this already because I think it had me as like green. I had a lot of greens and yellows or blue and yellow or something like that in it. But we're the grays. So uh, there, I put a lot of gray and black and white in it. And I changed the colors. But you can see over here, you can say edit color and you can edit the color accordingly. You can also have it generate... Um, a random uh, a logo for your team. It just comes up. My experience with this is that it just comes up with different logos that have a P in it for Providence. But anyway, that is something you can also do. Then you hit OK. It takes you back to this screen. Here's my manager's office screen. Um, um, it has some uh, goals that they want me to reach, which I have not reached any of them yet, but I am also on Can't Be Fired because this is my team in the Elmwood League, and so that's the team I want to have. However, it did um, have trades, and now, obviously, this isn't the exact Providence Grays that I have in the Stratomatic League because the Stratomatic League has um, 2020 players, players from 2020 in it. And this is out of the park 21 and only goes up to the 2020 season and does not include players that played. I don't believe it includes players that played in 2020 unless they were in the minors. It's possible that it has players from the minors. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, this has the actual players from the 2015 White Sox. My team does. Uh, the Adams family has the actual, they're the 1975 Red Sox. It has the actual players from the 1975 Red Sox. It also um, makes trades and offers trade options. Um, I actually have Trot Nixon on my team. Trot Nixon played in the 90s. But he's on my team because I got a trade offer from the, um, we'll go back to the standings. I got a trade offer from uh, Wooster 
and they are based on the 2004 Red Sox. I got a trade offer from them offering me Trot Nixon for, I forget who it was, it was like a reliever and a starter, you know, um, two guys I probably wasn't going to use or didn't need for Trot Nixon, so I took that deal. Um, but anyway, so that's how you set up a fictional league, but with actual players. Now, you could I could have done the same thing with 2018, but I think when you uh, when I was back at that first menu, when I was zipping down the teams, I think the last year that's available in Out of the Park 21 is 2019, if I'm not mistaken. So um, it might have been 20, but it, I, I thought it was, tw it was 19. So even if I had said, I want to base these all on teams from 2019 uh, that were closely, their records were closely related to how these teams actually did last year in our Elmwood League, it still wouldn't have had every player. And it was a 24 team league that I built, as you can see right here, or a uh, uh, 20, excuse me, 20 team league. And that's w what I was referencing back to when in the first menu, where it went from like 16 teams to 24 teams. And I whittled it down to 20. But anyway, um, this, it only gave me 20 teams or 20 slots. And so even if I had done that, there would have been 10 teams that I would have left out that would potentially have had players on it that would have been in the actual Elmwood League and who I also could not have assigned to a team. Because it isn't like, um, it's not like in the Stratomatic uh, game engine, if you're um, familiar with that, you can wipe the rosters clean. Um, of the rosters of every team in any given league and it automatically switches them to a, a free agent list and then all the players are there on the free agent list and then you could go back and switch them back over to whatever teams they belong on. That is intrinsically easy to do. Um, in Out of the Park, I, I if, if you can do that in Out of the Park, I'm not sure how you would do it because you would have to somehow have those players that were on the teams that you didn't include. Now, it's um, possible that you can do something crazy like you could move players. You could go into a commissioner mode where you have complete control over every team and you could move players from teams that you wouldn't keep to teams that you would keep just to get them on a roster and then wipe out and then maybe potentially delete those other teams that you cleaned out. But that would have been quite a lot of work to do. And if you know me, I'm not into a lot of work. So I ended up with this. This is nice. It's a nice little representation of Elmwood League. Um, the team's records are you know, the team's uh, rosters are based on historical teams that do about what this team has done historically in the leagues. And something that's kind of cool is like here you've got the uh, Cleveland Comets. We have the Cleveland Comets in the league. And if you click on them, they actually have a logo in the out of the park um, game that is a Cleveland Comets logo, probably because the Cleveland Comets are an actual minor league team. So it probably just grabbed from the library the logo for the Cleveland Comets minor league team. But that's kind of cool that we have a real logo that matches the actual team. Because if you, um, like you'll notice here, uh, if we go to Wooster, this is the Wooster, Wooster Worms, which probably does not have an actual team in existence anywhere. It was just a, a name that the guy made up. So really what they do for a logo is they just give you like a baseball diamond with W in it. 
and that's kind of how it was with mine. It's just a home plate with crossed bats behind it and a P in it. I don't know why, though, because the Providence Grays were an actual historical team. I don't know why they didn't pull an actual or have an actual Providence uh, uh, logo. Um, but anyway... That is um, my presentation on how to make your own custom team, but using actual historical players. Because as I say, um, if you're a novice at Out of the Park and you just go to make um, custom league and you don't do any of those adjustments I showed you, you'll end up with a bunch of made-up names that the computer makes up and it'll be it'll end up being full of made-up players which also could be kind of fun and I do have a league that is a custom league that's made up of fictional players just to see how it would look and I'm, I've played a few games in that but I wanted to see if it was possible and it is it turns out to make your own custom league with custom team names, but with actual players in out of the park baseball. So if you like that, um, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I have a lot of good content like this on out of the park, Stratomatic, actual baseball, the Chicago White Sox. I do NFL picks during the NFL season. Lots of good content on the channel. Doesn't cost you a cent. And it can be quite rewarding for you. If I do sit so myself. And I do. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke. Signing off.